It's March 13th, 2021. I'm doing a math babbler bit because tomorrow is March 14th. That means it's Pi Day. And we're going to celebrate Pi Day this year by using a basic arithmetic road sign, affectionately known as a bars. I got this road sign in New Mexico on US Highway 60. We were heading east to Pie Town, and you can see that Pie Town uh, is in this road sign. And the fraction uh, 22 divided by 7 is commonly used to get a, an approximation of pi. Uh, 22 divided by 7 is 3.1429, which if we round that to the nearest hundredth, we get 3.14, which is, for most of us, a perfectly fine number to use for pi. Whereas the mathematical constant pi itself is 3.141592 and so on. And if we take pi and round it to the nearest hundredth, we get 3.14. So uh, the idea behind a basic arithmetic road sign is that you have to use every number in the sign and you can use each number only once. If this road sign didn't have that line in it, this would be a really good uh, pi sign because it has only two numbers, 22 and 7, and we already know that 22 over 7 gives us a good approximation of pi. But the dotted line is in there, so we have to accommodate it. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up with two expressions. Uh, each expression is going to use uh, every number in the sign and use that number only once. And uh, we're going to take these two expressions, divide one by the other, and get the fraction 44 over 14. 44 over 14 is an equivalent fraction to 22 over 7. In other words, they evaluate to the same number, i.e. pi. So let's do it. The numerator here, uh, well, I should point out that whenever you write a horizontal fraction, this bar plays the role of a grouping uh, mechanism, meaning you evaluate the expression in the top first, then you evaluate the expression in the bottom, and then you divide the top by the bottom. So let's evaluate the expression in the top. 22 modulo 7 evaluates to 1. If you're not familiar with the modulus operator, sometimes referred to as the remainder operator, well, 7 evenly divides into 22 at most three times. 3 times 7 is 21. That leaves us a remainder of 1. So 22 modulo 7 is 1. 1 plus 43 is 44. So we've taken care of the top. Now let's do the bottom. If I just take 43, subtract away 22, I get 21. 21 take away 7 is 14. So this expression divided by that expression gives us the fraction 44 over 14, which is equivalent to 22 over 7, and both of the fractions evaluate to 3.14 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. Uh, so there, that's a pi day activity. Uh, a couple things I just want to point out. Uh, my Pi clock, there's no battery in it, but we have the time fixed at 3.14. <laughs> and uh, I am wearing uh, a Pi t-shirt. I think it says live every day like it's Pi day or something like that. So yeah, celebrating Pi day, which is tomorrow, March 14th. I also want to use it, this as an opportunity to do my Arnold Schwarzenegger imitation. The top part of a fraction is called a numerator. The bottom part of a fraction is called the denominator. The result of a fraction is called a quotient, but Arnold Schwarzenegger would say this, maybe. 
the numerator divided by the denominator equals the terminator. End movie.